ओके फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड जैट 2019 सीरीज इन व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज द अपर मोस्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर जैट एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ कंप्लीट न्यू क्वेश्चन बाय व्हिच यू कैन प्रैक्टिस द मोस्ट PYQ I write the word PYQ which one is nothing but the abbreviation of the previous year question so we have the first PYQ next is a complete new question that is complete all about the concepts so i would say if you have not solved this question pause this question pause this video here only and solve this question okay so we have the question number 1 taken from jat 2008 which one is nothing but four digit from this are omitted so that the result is as large as possible if you want the number largest you want it so to start from the 9 the 9 is the largest number followed by 8 7 6 so i want a number is the largest is 9 the leading term that is the leftmost term then 8 if you do not have a 9 then so on so i want 9 i want 8 i want 7 i want 6 so i have to omit 2 One, three, and five. So the largest number omitted, or the digit omitted, is nothing but five. So the answer of this question is nothing but five. So this was the JAT 2008 question with the explanation. Now it's time to solve my question, which one is nothing but a complete new question. So we follow the same trend and we try to give uh, around 20 to 50 question, not the 50, but a uh, lump sum 20 question per day to practice. Even I try to give the video solution if possible. Question number two. How many two-digit numbers A B is or are possible such that A B minus B A is our perfect square? Okay, this one is the question. So we know A B is nothing but 10 A minus B. B A is nothing but the 10 B minus A in the number formation. Perfectly fine. So if we subtract these two numbers, we'll give nothing but 9 into A minus B. So I want 9 minus A minus I want nine into A minus B is a perfect square. You must know one thing: perfect square is started from zero. Zero is a perfect square, so our one condition is A minus B equal to zero. We know nine is a perfect square, so nine into anything is a perfect square. It means anything that is A minus B must be a perfect square. So A minus B must be A minus B is one, or could be four. A minus B. Or could be nine. So we have four such cases. Sorry, this one is the a minus b. We have four such cases. We need to work on the four cases. And this one is a perfect square. What it means? It means this cannot be the negative. What it means? It means a must be more than b because negative cannot be a perfect square. So for the zero case, and here one case, the leading digit cannot be equal to zero. so you have four cases or we have four such cases the first case is the we have four case the second case is nothing but eight cannot be zero the third case is a greater than b and the fourth case is we need a perfect square so the first case equal to zero we have nine values that is 1 to 9 for the gap how many value do we have if a is 9 b is 8 so it means we have nothing but A from the nine to one, we have again the nine values. For the this, we have how many values? A could be nine up to what four. So we are here. We have nothing but six values, and the gap of nine, we have nothing but an only single values. So total is nothing but nine nine eighteen plus six is nothing but twenty four plus one is nothing but twenty five. Such cases are possible. Chances are you miss the case. A minus B equal to zero because we many times forget to treat zero as a perfect square. So please, zero is a perfect square. Whenever you have a perfect square case, start with a zero, then one, then four, then nine, then sixteen, and so on. So the answer of the first question is five, and the second question is twenty-five. Okay, so this one is all about the first case set or the first question set for the JAT two thousand nineteen. So stay tuned. We'll. Give our best, and if you want to solve that two thousand nineteen question, join the event on the Facebook. Okay, bye bye. Happy learning, and God bless you.